Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get the game Raid Shadow Legends working on the Apple Silicon Mac. So there is no Mac OS version of this game, so therefore we're going to be installing the Windows version of Raid Shadow Legends, the full desktop version that is, onto a virtual machine using a piece of software called Parallels. So today I'm going to show you the entire process, which includes installing Parallels using the 14 day free trial, where you can fully test out gaming as well. And then we're going to download the Windows version of the launcher within the virtual machine and get this game running as best as possible on any Apple Silicon Mac. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to click on the link at the top of the video description. If you do make a purchase after following this link, then I'm going to receive a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the videos that I make. So once you click the link, you'll get to this parallels page. What we can do is click the buy now button. We can click new license here. So at this stage, what I would do is to press the compare button here. And here you can see a comparison between the standard and the pro edition. I will say that for most people, the standard edition is enough. You only really need to allocate eight gigabytes and four CPU cores in order to get the best out of gaming. However, if you want to take the most advantage of your system's resources, then you're going to need the Pro Edition. So let's say that we make a purchase of the Pro Edition and click Buy Now. Here we have the option to enter a coupon code. If you enter the coupon code Apple Wiki 10, then you're going to get a 10% discount. However, if you don't want to make a purchase, you can also download a free trial, which I'm going to do today. Make sure that this is the right software for you. And if you do decide to make a purchase, then make sure to follow that link again. So here I'm going to click Download Free Trial. And then we're going to open up Finder and then go to our Downloads folder, double click on Install Parallels Desktop DMG, and then we're going to have this installer. So I'm going to double click on Install Parallels Desktop, and then saying here that this is an app downloaded from the internet, are we sure we want to open it? Press Open. Here we're going to press the Accept button, and then this is going to go ahead and start downloading Parallels Desktop. So now it's saying here that it's installing Parallels Desktop. Here we're going to enter our local user password, press OK. Here it's initializing, and now we're going to go through the installation assistant. So the first thing it's going to do is to download and install Windows 11 ARM. So what I'm going to do here is to click the Install Windows button, and it's going to go ahead and create a brand new virtual machine. So what's cool about Parallels is that you don't have to register for the Windows Insider program. This is just directly downloading Windows 11 ARM from the internet. So just wait for this to complete. We're downloading four gigabytes of data. So once the download's complete, it's automatically going to go ahead and complete an installation. What we're going to do here is press click to continue. And here we're going to see that we need to accept the Windows license agreement, press accept. And now you can already see that we've logged into Windows 11 in this little window here. I can minimize this browser window and you can see that this is the Windows 11 ARM desktop. We have our internet connection, we have sound working and all of the integrations are all there. If you want to full screen this, just press the green button here. If the resolution's wrong, you can right click here, click on display settings. And then normally what I like to do is to tweak the scale down to 100% so it looks a little bit more like a standard Windows desktop. So once Windows 11 has been installed through Parallels, all you need to do is go to the Edge browser. Then we're going to go to the RaidShadowLegends.com website. And then what we're going to do is to play on Plarium Play, which is the PC Windows client. So we've got the Raid setup downloaded here, and then we're going to launch the setup file. Press yes here to install Plarium Play. Then here we're going to press continue, and then it's installing the launcher. Now the splash screen has come up. So if you have an account already, then you can press the log in button, or you can go ahead and create a new account. And now we have the Plarium launcher and we're logged in. So here it's automatically downloading Raid Shadow Legends. So just let that complete. So this is the percentage marker. So just wait for that to get to 100%. So now that this is ready to play, it's already started launching on its own. And here we can see we are signing into our account and it's going ahead and just getting the last bits of information that it needs. And now we can see that Raid Shadow Legends has loaded up within the virtual machine. So what I'm going to do now is to full screen the virtual machine and that's brought us into full screen here. I'm also gonna full screen the game as well to get to the maximum resolution. You can also press Alt Enter in order to full screen the game within Windows as well. You can easily go ahead and play the main campaign or any of the online elements of this game and it all works great through Windows 11 ARM on Parallels on Mac. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other videos like this on my YouTube channel, so please check it out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.